hello, Victor. Welcome to the fourth edition of the Data 2020 Summit here in Stockholm. It's a pleasure having you with us. Uh, before we go on, can you please tell us more about yourself, your background? Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Thanks. It's nice to be here. Mm -hmm. um, I am a developer. I work for a small uh, consultancy firm in Stockholm called mm -hmm. Nevermind Media. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have worked at some different uh, e-commerce companies and tech companies, a few startups mm -hmm. and things like that before. But uh, now currently I am at Baby Shop, where, where I'm helping them with all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, Victor, modern data platforms um, were highlighted today like quite a lot. Um, so according to you, what is a modern data platform and what are some of the main challenges with the existing technology that relates to actually to these modern data platforms? We call them modern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, no, to me, the, the modern data platform is something that we need to keep up with the change that we mm -hmm. have from, from data warehousing. So there are a lot of new lightweight tools to do analytics, for example, and there mm. are new needs and the, the, is like the amounts of data that we need to ingest it, that we need to look at. Mm -hmm. And we also have a new requirements for speed and agility to follow up this mm -hmm. to be able to adapt what is happening. And old data warehousing infrastructure could not do that. The, the cycles were very long. Uh, developing something took forever and it was very costly. So it was very difficult to, to keep up. So to me, this is this is the biggest difference, like the, the possibility to make it fast and, and to handle scale. And mm -hmm. also the possibility for, for smaller companies to start without a, a lot of effort because mm -hmm. you don't have to spend uh, six months developing something with, with consultant costs and all that, but you can get started quite easily uh, using new technologies. Mm -hmm. So today on the how to stage, you shared your experience on how Baby Shop established its modern data stack. So um, if, if, I, if I may ask, how did you do it um, and how did you gain support for the implementation um, and further management within the organization? This is rather uh, another challenge, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. And, and I think this is also something that the, the modern data platform has helped with because you don't have to pitch doing 12 months projects with a lot of consultants to get some, some value out of it. But you could rather say like, okay, let me try these new things out and let me do some analytics and I can actually come back here in two weeks and show you something. And that was not possible before. Mm. So at Baby Shop, this is exactly what we did because they are they were a very non-techy company. They had all of their uh, technology run by vendors basically, but internally mm -hmm. they do not have a lot of capabilities. So when we got there, we had to kind of take small steps with the, with the organization. We had to um, you find these like the low-hanging fruits and we do the quick wins to convince people that this is actually worthwhile we should be doing this we should work more with data we should be data driven so that was the, the strategy that we had so we made sure to identify these uh, things and and just do short cycles and then we increment it mm -hmm. uh, um, okay the one side is a modern data platform um, and the other side is the impact of making better decisions with it. So um, uh, can you talk more about that? Yeah, sure. So th that is for, for an e-commerce business as Baby Shop is, that's obvious because they, 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 what most e-commerce uh, vendors want to do is they want to communicate well with their customers mm. to get them to purchase things that, yeah, of course, yeah. they're good for, for, the, yeah. for the business. So that part is a lot easier if you have control of your data to know what people like and, and why they like them and what uh, type of communication or what type of experience that, that trigger conversion. Mm -hmm. So that part is obvious uh, yeah, or quite, quite well known at least. And then there are other things as well that are maybe not as much fun or as easy to measure, but there are regulations, for example, that we need to comply mm -hmm. with. And uh, these regulations are usually quite uh, tricky to follow unless you have a really good control of your business, what's going on, um, mm -hmm. and can also look at historical data that's usually not mm -hmm. stored in the e-commerce system. So we both have those like commercial benefits, but we also have benefits of the possibility of being compliant. Mm -hmm. And um, what roles do you see necessary to govern these modern data platforms? Mm, I mean, for uh, in the scale that we have done at Baby Shop and how I think it will be more, more mm -hmm. common to do this. I, not a lot of roles are needed. I mean, the, the system that we buy and that we implement, they are they are graphical user interfaces where you click boxes to get data flowing into into our data warehouse. And anyone can do that. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's for anyone with a, who, who is a bit interested in technology, they will figure that out. 
Uh, and then what is important is that you uh, know the business and you know kind of what you're looking for in this mm-hmm. haystack that you create with data. And But this is also not super difficult. I mean, we, we guided people at Baby Shop to learn to write SQL queries. Uh, the CFO at Baby Shop cannot write SQL. So he can go in to dig into the financial data himself when he has an idea. And from that, they have found so many things that we can improve with them. We can get these, like, the low-hanging fruit, the easy wins. And so I think that the, that's also an important part to me for why the, the modern data platform is important. Because if this is that easy, to, for the CFO could manage this himself, basically, yeah. if he wanted to. So that means that we can probably do this at uh, companies and businesses that did not have the possibility to be data-driven before yeah. because they could not take the leap of Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. But now they could. That's really cool. Uh, one last question, Victor. Um, what will be your prediction for the near future when it comes to, to these platforms and to the data-driven uh, uh, environment in general? So I think um, for the platforms, they will they are quite new, the ones we're using. So mm. they will continue to develop and they will mm-hmm. um, continue to work on the simplicity. It's very important that it's easy and that it's fast mm. and that you can shorten mm-hmm. your development cycle. But then I also, so th- that will continue. That will continue even more when I think that the smaller companies and businesses yeah. that will start to realize that they can also use these things and they, can, they mm-hmm. can get value out of it. So that will be also a driver for making these things even easier. Uh, but then I think they're still um, kind of lacking on the analytics part because it's a, it's a lot more uh, difficult to, to uh, look at your data in a good way today than it is to, to store your data in query. So I, I feel that there is some work left to do there on, 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 on the visual side. But I mean, already where we are today, I think it's, it's, it's amazing. Mm, it's good enough. Yeah, it is. It's really cool. Like. Uh, but uh, if, if we are uh, heading towards AI, probably mm-hmm. much more is needed, right? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> like, I, I think a, a, a quite normal trip for, for a smaller business can be saying like, Hmm, let's, okay, we have, we can do this trial to get uh, an ETL system and a data warehouse. Uh, get 30 days, we can experiment. They do that and they find some holes. So it's like, okay, here is a part of our process where we're lacking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and they will look at that and they will optimize that themselves. And then when they do that for a bit, they realize like it can't be that difficult to have a machine do this optimization that I'm currently doing. So they can do, they can have someone develop this thing or they can buy it from somewhere and they can start filling in these gaps automatically. And then we're really close to having machine learning or artificial intelligence yeah. to help them optimize their internal processes. And I think also like AI implementations like that will a lot, be a lot more available to, to smaller customers and to like smaller companies. companies yeah. mm-hmm. Awesome. Uh, Victor, thank you very much for joining the summit and for uh, uh, your willingness to conduct this interview. My pleasure. Yeah, awesome. Thank you.